Amen. Father, you are the most high God. You are worthy to be praised. We walk your me into this place. You are worthy to be praised. There is none like you. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy, O oh Lord. You are worthy, O oh Lord, invisible Lord, O oh, our miracle worker. You are worthy, O oh Lord. You are worthy, O oh Lord. You are worthy, O oh Lord, the invisible God, our miracle worker. You are worthy, O Lord. In Jesus' name, Father Lord, we welcome you to today's meeting. We want you to take your, we invite you to take your place today. We thank you, everybody. Welcome to Rebet to UK Esther Preparation Room Prayer. We thank you all for joining us today. Today is a great day. Um, I must say today is a day that the Lord has made. We know <laughs> that the devil did not want us to have today. But we thank God because we know who we belong to. Let's begin to thank God for today. Let's thank God for friends and family. That he that began a good work in, in our lives, he will continue to make it happen. Let's begin to thank God for today. Father, we just thank you for all the things you are doing in our life, in the lives of our friends. We thank you for the life of our families, our different relationships, work colleagues, every relationship that you brought around us. We thank you, Lord Jesus. Father, we lift up our voice in the midst of the congregation. We thank you for all the wonderful things you are doing in each and everybody in this ministry our friends, our sister, my sisters that are joining in, Lord Jesus. Father, we know that you are, you are doing wonders in their life. Father, you know that you are with them, Lord Jesus, because you are the one that caused them to wake up this morning. They are waking up to a great day for such a time like today, like a, a time in this season. Father, we know that you have something great for them, Lord Jesus. Father, we thank you for who you are in their life. Father, we thank you because they are wonderful and beautifully made. Father, we thank you for the relationship you have placed all around us, Lord Jesus. We know that you're a God of relationship. The reason why he sends your son is for relationship. Father, we thank you, Lord Jesus, for our work colleague, our, uh, our, the teachers in, in our schools, everybody that will come across, even the stranger we meet, Lord Jesus, we thank you because you love everybody the same Lord Jesus. So we give you all the glory. We thank you for each and every person in this group, Lord Jesus. Our families, we just give you all the glory. Let us thank God for his love. For he said, I will never leave you or forsake you. Father, we thank you for your love. Your love is new every morning. Father, we thank you because you are worthy to be praised. The works of your hand shows how good you are, how you show your love in everything that concerns creation, Lord Jesus. We give you all the glory. We honor you. Your righteousness endures forever. Oh, Lord, we give you all the glory for every single thing that I have used to show your love for us. The air that we breathe, every single thing just shows your love, Lord Jesus, for us. Oh, Lord, we just give you all the glory. You made everything and you said it was beautiful. And you made us, you said, well, we are beautiful. We thank you for your son. We thank you for everything, the different ways you have showed us your love for us, Lord Jesus. We just thank you for every single way you have showed us that you love us, Lord Jesus. Oh, Lord, let your name alone be glorified in this meeting. Let's begin to thank God. Let's just begin to thank God for that he's wonderful. He's our counselor. Mighty God, everlasting God, Prince of Peace. Father, you are worthy to be praised, Lord Jesus. You are worthy to be glorified, Lord Jesus. Father, you are wonderful. You are a wonderful Father. You are a counselor. You are a mighty God. Oh, who can compare to a mighty God? 
No one can compare to mighty God. We will have a sin they can machine the game. If you are for us, who can be against us? You are mighty Lord Jesus, everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Oh Lord Jesus, you are mighty in battle. The works of your hand just displays wonders and how wonderful you are. That you, oh Lord, we will worship you today. Oh, lucky they will send that katana because we worship you, Lord Jesus. If you know how to speak in the spirit, let's begin to praise God and thank God and sing a new song in the spirit. Oh, Lahina Masanda Kat. Sing a new song in the spirit. We just give you all the glory, Lord. We give you all the praise, Lord. You are worthy to be praised, Lord Jesus. We decree that you are worthy to be praised. We speak it out today, Lord Jesus, over everything that concerns us. You are wonderful. You are mighty. You are everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. There is none like you. There is none compared to you. You are loving. You are for, for all, all the, every time showing us that you love us. Every single minister showing us is love us. Father, we thank you for your blessing for EPR, for this season that we're in. It's such a, an important season. You have just showed us in different ways that this is there's something going on. We don't know, but we are excited. For we are excited for what you are going to do in this uh, ministry, this prayer group. For that we are excited, Lord Jesus. Eyes have not seen, Lord Jesus. Oh, we can't even imagine the greatness you have for us, Lord, because we know it's more than what we expect, Lord Jesus. For that we thank you for this meeting. That we can gather this morning with, I can gather this morning with my friends, with my family, with my sisters to praise you is a wonderful thing. Father, let heaven know today that we are gathered today as sisters, Lord Jesus, as women, praising you for who you are and what you are doing in our group. Thank you for such a privilege of first connecting, Lord Jesus, this morning to praise you. For that, thank you for each and every family that is represented today in EPEA. And some of us that are not here, but are part of us in this EPEA. For that, we thank you for this group, Lord Jesus. We know that you are doing a new thing, Lord Jesus. We know that you are doing wonders in our midst, Lord Jesus. We know that you are mighty in our midst, Lord Jesus. For that, we give you all the glory. We give you all the praise. We thank you for everything that is going on regarding the conferences. I have, as you are strengthening each and every one of us, the ones that are walking behind the screen, uh, um, behind everything, we thank you, Lord Jesus. Father, you say you give them strength, Lord Jesus. We thank you for their life, Lord Jesus. But because you have been showing yourself strong on their behalf, Lord Jesus. Father, we give you all the glory for this group. Father, begin to thank you, Lord Jesus, for this week, Lord Jesus. We know that you each and every week you have already supplied before we even asked what we need for this week. You knew what we need. Before we were even created, you have provided already. Father, we begin to thank you for the things that we're going to unwrap, all the presents that are going to unwrap from you this week. Father, we give you all the glory and we give you all the praise, Lord Jesus. Oh, Father, we just give you all the glory. You are worthy to be praised, Lord Jesus. You are worthy to be glorified, Lord Jesus. We thank you for what you are going to do this week in our life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we need to thank you for Brexit, Lord Jesus, um, UK. A lot of things are going on. But I know, Lord Jesus, you have a plan in the midst of it, Lord Jesus. Father, we begin to thank you for the UK, for the great things you have for UK. We know you are in the UK. You have not left UK, Lord Jesus. Because we are still in this UK, you are here with us. You say that you will never leave us, Lord Jesus. So every plan that is going on, Lord Jesus, is going to fall according to your plans. Oh, Father, we thank you because you are worthy to be praised. And give you all the glory, you give you all the praise in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Good morning, sisters. We just thank God um, for today. What we are going to pray about today is, uh, is born out of... Uh, anyway... And let me, the, we're going to pray, be led by the Spirit. Be led by the Spirit. Um, I'm prompted to say this. A few days ago, uh, I was sleeping. I heard a word. I heard a word. It says, I heard God say, it's tell me 10, 15. I knew it wasn't the time of the day because it was very early. I said, 10, 15, what do you mean? 
He said, John 10, 15. So I went to John 10, 15. I read John 10, 15. He says, as the Father knows me, even so I know the Father. And I laid down my life for my sheep. I, he said he laid down his life for his sheep. That day, I needed to hear that from the Lord. So I went further. I said, God, what do you mean that you laid down in my life? This is just one of it. So I was praying. And when I was praying, I had another ministry that each time they, they sent publication. And the publication came that day. It was the same John 10. But it wasn't only John 10 they were talking about. They were talking about John 27. My sheep he hears my voice. So when Pastor Nike said, we sh I should pray about this, um, this is actually speaking to me as, as, as we are praying this and praying <laughs> for myself because the life of the Spirit, led by, being led by the Spirit, is very continuous. It's continuous. We can, each day of our life, is a relationship. It never ends. It can never arrive in that place. And it's, it's so individually, it's so different from each individual because we are uh, different. So let me, let's me let begin to pray regarding this. He said, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd gives his life for his sheep. But the hiring, any, it, put, it could be anybody, ourself can be this person. He doesn't really care about the sheep, you know? When trouble comes, he he won't see he won't see he won't see him there because he's being paid to look after the sheep. But the Lord Jesus made me understand that he's the good shepherd, and his sheep we are his sheep, and he knows us. We are known. We he, he didn't say that we know him. He said that he knows us. You know. He, so he went on to say, "My sheep hears my voice, and I know them, and they follow me." I give them internal life. They will not perish. No one can snatch my sheep out of my hands, he said. The Father has given me my sheep. He's even greater than him, he says. No one can snatch us from the hands of the Father. I am my Father are one. Yeah? He made me realize that to be led by the Spirit, you have to be able to hear. First, the sheep had to be able to hear, had to have a, when I mean hear, I mean hear spiritually, hear the word of God. Like when I'm speaking and you close your eyes, you hear, and you understand who is speaking, something like that. Hearing is based on a relationship with God. You know, when you hear your husband or your child speak, you know exactly who is speaking. So hearing, this is somebody that has a relationship with God. So my sheep hears my voice and I know them. God knows, so he went on to say, you hear a word behind you. See, this is the way you go, right or left, and you go, because you know him. He also went down, down and said that, before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I knew you were called to this group, EPR, to intercede at such a time like this. You know, nothing in God's calendar is by mistake. Anyway, let's begin to pray for ourselves now. Lord, let us pray that God will always lead, that will always be led by the Holy Spirit. I have confidence that He will lead us and He will guide us and He will teach us that we trust in the Lord with our, with our whole heart and we will lean not on our own understanding in all our ways that we acknowledge Him. And we know that we hear Him because we are, we are His sheep. And the voice of a stranger will not hear because we know him. Let's begin to pray. Father, we thank you, Lord Jesus, because you know that we are a good shepherd, Lord Jesus. You are the one that guides us in the way we have to go, Lord Jesus. Oh, you said that the Lord is our shepherd, that you, you are the one that leads us beside still water, that you restore our, our soul, Lord Jesus. You are the one that prepares a table before, and, and not, prepare a table before us in the presence of our enemy and anoints us and blessed us for signs and wonders. Father, we thank you for who you are, Lord Jesus. 
We thank you for every single woman in this group, Lord Jesus, that they hear you, they will hear you clearly, Lord Jesus, and we lean on the Holy Spirit, Lord Jesus, that you lead us in the way to go. Because we hear you, Lord Jesus, we'll be led by you, that you will guide us and teach, teach us. Father, we thank you, Lord Jesus, because you say that you teach us all things. Holy Spirit, teacher, we invite you today. We begin to pray for this. We begin to, ask, begin to re request, Lord Jesus, today that you would teach us, Lord Jesus, that you open the ears of our hearing, our ears to hear you, Lord Jesus. That not only that, Lord Jesus, that we trust you, Lord Jesus, that we trust you, Lord Jesus. We trust that you know exactly what we need, Lord Jesus. You trust you, Lord Jesus. Father, we understand as human beings, Lord Jesus, because we, some of us, we hear you, Lord Jesus, because fear and every single thing wants to derail us from from following you, uh, following you, your, your will for our lives, Lord Jesus. Father, we begin to pray today that no more will we listen to the voice of a stranger, Lord Jesus, but we listen according to your word, Lord Jesus, because you say that you know us intimately before we were born, Lord Jesus, that you formed us inside. Lord Jesus, that you form the very, you know how we hear you, Lord Jesus. You are the one that made us up, every single part of us, Lord Jesus. You picked the family that we are meant to be born in, Lord Jesus. You picked the, 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 our accent, Lord Jesus. You picked our character, Lord Jesus. You picked our personality, every single thing. Because you, and because you have done that before the foundation, you knew us, Lord Jesus. You know exactly what is good for us. And you know exactly the way you you know our sweet spots, Lord Jesus. Oh, Lord, we thank you, Lord Jesus, for we know that we hear you, Lord Jesus, and you know us more than we know ourselves, Lord Jesus. So that we begin to pray, Lord Jesus, that the eyes of understanding will be opened so we we'll know your nature and your love for us. For that we begin to thank you, Lord Jesus, because we understand, Lord, that if we do not know your nature, which is love, and the love for us, Lord Jesus, we will not be able to trust you, to follow you, and to be led by the Holy Spirit. So, Lord Jesus, today, Lord Jesus, we begin to pray, Lord Jesus, for every woman in this group, Lord Jesus, that we begin, we begin to, when we read the Bible, we begin to understand your nature and your love for each and every one of us. Father, you said in your word, Lord Jesus, as the, uh, uh, that you know each and every one of us, and you lay down your life for uh, uh, us, Lord Jesus. You lay down, and you gave your son for us, Lord. That is your nature, Lord Jesus. Father, your nature is love, Lord Jesus. Father, Lord, you did not send your son to condemn, but what you sent your son, Lord Jesus, so we will live and be, so we can find salvation, Lord Jesus. Father, we lean on your nature, Lord Jesus. We want to know you, Lord Jesus, intimately, Lord Jesus, intimately. So when we hear your voice, we trust and be able to discern, Lord Jesus, who is speaking, Lord Jesus? Because we know, Lord Jesus, your nature and your thought towards us is love, Lord Jesus. Oh, Lord, we just give you the glory because you are worthy to be praised. Father, we begin to raise up today, Lord Jesus, that when we open the Bible, we begin to see who you are, what is in your heart. We begin to see your heart as you read the Bible. You begin to see your heart, your love for us in the Bible. So that, Lord Jesus, when you tell us to do something, we trust on your nature because we understand the art of listening, Lord Jesus. All is based on the character of the person behind who is, say, is, is speaking the words, Lord Jesus. And we know your character is unchanging, Lord Jesus. Father, we trust, we begin to pray, Lord Jesus, today that you begin to cause our heart. Lord Jesus, to be rooted in you, Lord Jesus, to be rooted in who you are, in your love for us, Lord Jesus, in your nature for us, Lord Jesus, in your character for us, Lord Jesus, that as we obey you, Lord Jesus, you know that what you have for us is the very best, Lord Jesus. Father, we thank you because we know that you have answered us. Regarding this, Lord Jesus, Father, we begin to pray also for um, that, um, that you help us, Lord Jesus, to continuously renew our hearts, oh Lord, that we have, we make within the Bible a renewing our, uh, our mind as a habit, Lord Jesus, oh Lord. Father, cause us, to, we know that the, for us to know you, we have to read your word, Lord Jesus, you know, we have to learn from you, Lord Jesus. But I mean, let's begin, to, um, uh, let's, I want to make this understanding clear, you know. 
in renewing our mind in the word of god we are getting we are communicating we are you know when we're praying we are talking to god you know when we're speaking in the spirit we are talking in the language of the um, speaking in tongues. we are talking to god but when we read the bible we are allowing the word of god minister to us you know and in order to know somebody intimately like your husband your child your friend we need to spend quality and quantity time with the person and we know that in order to know you the way you want us know know you lord jesus because you're a god of relationship you want us to be in uh, the word of god that the word of god will dwell richly on our heart lord jesus that we put away old ways of thinking lord jesus that we renew our hearts lord jesus that you want to remove old way of thinking the soulish way of thinking from our heart lord jesus so we will be able to focus on who you are lord jesus but when we read the bible lord jesus you taught us lord jesus that we'll be able to know you lord jesus we'll be able to have the we already have the mind of christ but we'll be able to know as so we we'll registers that we already have the mind of christ we know exactly how we look like when we read your word oh lord jesus we begin to pray lord jesus you give us different ways of enjoying reading the bible you bring to i begin to pray for each and every one of us in this group lord jesus you begin that a creative way of enjoying your word we begin to arise for those of us that like audio pictures regarding your word lord jesus let it begin to come because we know in this season lord jesus we cannot survive without knowing your word knowing you intimately father we begin to pray for ability to be able to stay in the word of god as a habit in the mighty name of jesus i pray father we thank you lord let you some hand that your word will dress richly on our in our heart that we will be able to to study the word lord jesus we'll be able to be rooted in you lord jesus we'll be able to know you lord jesus more intimately lord jesus we'll be able to go to be able to renew and see who you are lord jesus see your nature your heartbeat what makes you tick lord jesus what upset you lord jesus what makes you want to spend time with us lord jesus be your wonderful lord jesus father we give you all the glory we give you all the praise we thank you lord jesus because we know that you hear us when we pray in the mighty name of jesus father we begin to pray today regarding our life regarding working with you because we know that when we know you when we know your nature lord jesus when we know your heartbeat lord jesus when we know who you are lord jesus we will be led by you we will walk according to your spirit your holy spirit which you have given to us lord jesus father you have taught us that walking in the spirit means bearing the fruit of the spirit father we know that walking in the flesh means bearing the fruit of the flesh lord jesus and we know that when we became christians lord jesus our old self died and we have a new spirit a new spirit lord jesus the spirit of god living in inside of us the spirit of god that have the fruit of love fruit of joy fruit of peace long suffering kindness love faithfulness gentleness self-control lord jesus we know lord jesus that is the spirit that is living inside of us that is the holy spirit that is living inside of us that we when we look into your word and walk according to your word lord jesus that you remind us of who we are inside of us who you are inside of us that our spirit that we are perfect we already have love in our spirit. We have joy in our spirit. We have peace in our spirit. We have long suffering in our spirit. We have kindness in our spirit. Oh Lord, we thank you because we know that every single one of these fruits, which is one, which is in you, is already represented inside of us, Lord Jesus. Father, we thank you, Lord, Lord, that as we that you as we walk with you, Lord Jesus, that you remove anything that will not glorify you glorify you lord jesus help us to switch off things that are of this that are not of you in the mighty name of jesus because there are so many things contending for our heart oh lord help us in the mighty name of jesus um this the next prayer point i would like to pray that the holy spirit to help us to always agree with 
with um agree with um hope to always help to agree with your direction daily in our life basically that god will help us to agree with his direction which is built in trust because when you trust a person like if you trust somebody that is driving yeah you can sleep yeah you enter rest yeah but if you are not if you don't really trust the, the person driving a car <laughs> you will be even if you are sitting beside the person's car you too will be driving yeah we don't want to be like that because we know that when we know god the holy spirit is our teacher yeah and we trust him that is in charge of our life we know that he knows exactly what we want what's exactly what we need for the work he has called us in epr like we said before he formed us before we were born. He knows what we like, how we do it. He knows how we are going to wield the sword. When I mean the wield the sword, the word of God, uh, ministry, because it's not just um, ministry we are talking about. Our whole life, we should be led by the Holy Spirit. Oh Lord, Lord Jesus, we know that it's not that the, the man in himself, in a, a, a on spiritual man, a dead man in the spirit, not born again, um, a, a, f, um, a born again Christian Lord Jesus that is not spirit led, cannot direct his ways. That's what you said. It is not in a man to walk in his own direction. It is in you. And that is why you gave us the Holy Spirit. Cause us to realize and learn that Lord Jesus, that we trust you with our life that you will direct us, Lord Jesus, that we will not join um, the flesh, mocking, that we build ourselves up in the most holy, uh, in, your, in, your, in the faith, which is believing in God, praying in the spirit, praying in the spirit, that Lord Jesus, we're able to pray in the spirit, and you keep us in your love, Lord Jesus. When we pray in the spirit, you keep us in the love. Love. Today, and if there's anybody that is in EPR that hasn't uh, get is not does not understand praying in the spirit, maybe after you should reach out to one of us, we can explain further. You know, because it's a necessity, it's a language of the spirit, it's a language that is needed, it's a language that when you are going to mysteries, mysteries, if you're having mysterious problems, that's the way I look at it. It's time to start speaking in tongues. That's my own. If something does not add up, it is time to start speaking in tongues. Lord, Father, we pray, Lord Jesus, that today, Lord Jesus, as we speak in the Spirit, Lord Jesus, that whenever we pray, Lord Jesus, we trust you that you answer. Father, we know that we have the mind of Christ. You have the exactly the, and you have every solution to any, every problem. Oh, Lord, cause us to walk in the spirit cause us to look in your world to see how we look like lord jesus cause us to confront every uh, problem situation with what you have said that we are in your word lord jesus for the cause us to fix our eyes on you lord jesus that we know our identity in you lord jesus that we know your nature lord jesus oh lord that we know about your love in your word, Lord Jesus. Father, we pray today, Lord Jesus, that you show us more as you open the Bible, that you show us your love in the Bible, Lord Jesus. Father, we, it's not only showing us about how you love us in the Bible, that in this week, Lord Jesus, I begin to pray, Lord Jesus, that you show at each and every one in this group that you love them, Lord Jesus. Father, you know what ticks them. You know what is their sweet spot. You know exactly what they need today, Lord Jesus. I begin to pray for ourselves today, that let's begin to pray for ourselves today that this week lord jesus the lord will show you how he loves you because he loves to give good gifts to his beloved that is the nature of god oh lord we trust you with all our heart lord jesus lord we lean not in our own understanding lord jesus oh god we will not be wise in our own eyes lord jesus but we fear you and we depart from evil lord jesus father we will not measure ourselves against ourselves lord jesus we will not compare ourselves against our, against each other lord jesus but we look into the mirror lord jesus as a standard for us lord jesus father when the flesh is telling us oh 
oh, look at you. Look at you. It's all messed up. We look into the mirror, Lord Jesus. We say that we have love. We have joy. We have peace. We have long suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, self-control. Hey, Father, we thank you because already we have that because you live inside of us. Oh, Lord, teach us to always look to you, Lord Jesus. Always look to you, Lord Jesus. Let you be the first point of call for every situation, Lord Jesus. Teach us to always look to you when every event comes in, Lord Jesus. Teach us, Lord Jesus. Remind us, Holy Spirit. Teach us how to remember that which you have showed us in the mirror, who we are in the spirit. Are we us in the Bible? When we look in the mirror, your word, your word, we see who we are in the spirit, Lord Jesus. We see that we are wonderfully and beautifully made, Lord Jesus. We see that you love us, Lord Jesus, that you lay down your own life for us. We see, Lord Jesus, that you gave your son for us. For that those things are not mere words, Lord Jesus. Teach us to make, you say that you honor your words more than your name. Father, it too is already existing in our life, Lord. Let us know that, you, remind us, Lord, all the time that you do not joke with your word, Lord Jesus. That when we look at you, Lord Jesus, when we look at you, Lord Jesus, Oh, that you see, oh, we see exactly who we are in your word, Lord Jesus. That you open our understanding to see who we are in the spirit, Lord Jesus. You will not look at things according to the outward appearances. We will not look at a situation and say, oh, it's all who? It's all done. Father, we will not look at uh, this thing in this EPR, the ministry where we are sending us, and say, oh, it's too big. Because we know that you are the one that is involved, Lord Jesus. In our personal life, our challenges, that we will not look at whatever that is going on, that will be led by the Spirit, that your word will come and say that you, your love, because you love us, like you we can come boldly, Lord Jesus, into your throne room, Lord Jesus. And the perfect love has cast away all fears in our love. That means, Lord Jesus, if we understand that we love you, Lord Jesus, we will not have fear. If we look at who we are in the spirit, based on the word of God, when I mean looking in the spirit, looking in the word of God, the mirror, we know who you are, who we are, because we know who the who you said we are. Cause us not to forget who we are when different things come our way. That will put you first in everything that concerns us. Father, cause us to love each other. That we lay down our life like you did for us. It wasn't cheap, Lord. It cost you blood. Father, will cause us to look and see who, who we are in the spirits. Whenever we open the Bible, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord, you said that we are, when we abide in you, and when we abide in you and you abide in us, Lord Jesus, that we'll bear fruits. It's an automatic thing, Lord Jesus. We know that when we are not looking at you, Lord Jesus, that is when we start worrying. But when we look at you, Lord Jesus, we know that we are sorted. We know that we are righteous. We know that we are holy. We know that we are lovely. Father, when we look at you, Lord Jesus, we know that we are rich. When we look at you, Lord Jesus, we know that we are, hell, we are well, Lord Jesus, because we are carrying you, Lord Jesus. Father, we know that you are. it is well with us. We are victorious. Then we begin to speak like you speak. We begin to decree that let there be, and it will be, Lord Jesus. Because we are rooted in your love, Lord Jesus. We are rooted in your love, Lord Jesus. We begin to pray that, that we are rooted in your love, Lord Jesus. That when we have mysteries, mysterious happenings, when I mean mystery, strange things that you can't understand, get your, or maybe you plan, plan something and uh, things fall apart, everything is falling apart. Let our first reaction be the spirit. What is the word of God saying? Who am I in the spirit? How is God describing it? Holy Spirit, teach us, let it be a habit for us. We pray this in the mighty name of Jesus today. Amen.
Father, Lord, we thank you, Lord Jesus. Like, we, as we continue, when we walk in the Spirit, our own desire, you know, uh, <laughs> what pe people have so many ways of describing walking in the Spirit. Some will say pray 10,000, uh, three, two, two hours, 100 hours, read the Bible, fast 10 times, march around the car Calvary, whatever. But walking in the Spirit or being led by the Spirit is actually a relationship with God. There is no uh, mystery behind it. It's actually a daily walk. That's who we are. It's basically when we open the Word of God, what are we seeing? Father, teach us, Lord Jesus, that you will be the Lord of our life, Lord Jesus. That, you, that we will be a living sacrifice, Lord Jesus. That, Lord Jesus, that will guard our hearts. Because we know that if we do nothing, Lord Jesus, automatically our hearts will gravitate to the flesh, which is outburst of anger, jealousy, hatred, adultery, all kinds. We don't even need to do anything to find ourselves there, Lord Jesus. Cause us, Lord Jesus, to always fix our eyes on you, Lord Jesus. We know, Lord Jesus, that when this is done, Lord Jesus, everything that you have deposited in us from the foundation of the earth will naturally come out. We won't even know when we lose the anger. We won't know when we lose the hatred. We don't need to pray 10,000 times to lose the selfishness. But when we look at you, we will always know, Lord Jesus, that we are made perfect in you, Lord Jesus. That we are beautiful in you, Lord Jesus. That we walk according to this uh, 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 spirit, Lord Jesus. And we will not fulfill the loss of the flesh, Lord Jesus. Father, we pray, Lord Jesus. We know you have given us the new uh, the helper, Lord Jesus. And for those of us that, 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 that don't know, know him that well, Lord Jesus. We are still, I'm still there. In pro, in I'm still, it never ends. That Lord Jesus, you give us gifts of, uh, they have already given us gifts, Lord Jesus. That Lord Jesus, you make our interest in wanting to know this person that we are carrying, Lord Jesus. Because we know that most problem is actually a knowledge problem. That the Holy Spirit will teach us, Lord Jesus. Holy Spirit, teach us. Teach us how to live, how to make you Lord. Not just Oh, we are born again, and that is okay. We are all born again, and you know, everybody is born again. Not only that, Lord Jesus, that you are the Lord of our life. That you are Lord, that you come and be Lord of our life. Come and be Lord of my life. Come and be Lord of all our lives. Oh, Lord, when, that, when you are Lord of our life, Lord Jesus, that means our opinion. We have no opinion. A Christian has no opinion anymore, apart from the word of God. That that understanding will come alive, Lord Jesus. That a Christian does not have any other opinion but the word of God. That it will come alive. That you will come alive. That you will come alive. That you are the Lord over our life. Lord over, over our affairs. And we know you're a good Lord. Because your, 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 your thought towards us is just good. To bring us to an expected end. We thank you, Lord Jesus, because we know that you that began a good work in us. We perfect it, Lord Jesus. Father, we present our mind, ourselves, as a living, as we present, we make you Lord over our life, Lord over everything that concerns us, Lord over everything that concerns our uh, uh, family, Lord over everything that concerns our marriage. Lord, over everything that consigns us, Lord Jesus. Father, we just bring EPR today to you, Lord Jesus. We bring EPR and the conferences we are having. We bring United Kingdom to your hand, Lord Jesus. We pray, Lord Jesus, that you build us, Lord Jesus. You said you have, you have already built us, Lord. Forgive me for speaking that way. Let us always correct ourselves. And look to you and speak exactly what you are saying regarding us. You have called us beautiful. 
You have called us wonderfully made. You have called us mighty. You have called us overcomers. You have called us rich. We have everything we need in this group. Father, we thank you, Lord Jesus. Because we know when we're led by you, that means when we have a relationship with you, all the fruit of the Spirit will come alive automatically. We don't need to beg for it, hit our head on the floor for it. It shows. Because we know when, we, as, when, we, when there's anxiety, that means we have been fixing our eyes on things that are not of you. But Lord Jesus, when we fix our eyes on who we are, Lord Jesus, you told us that we bear fruits because you are already giving it, deposited us, they put it down in, inside of us already. Father Lord, when we are led by you, our skills will lay it down at your feet to serve you, Lord Jesus, and to serve people around us, Lord Jesus. Because we live by you, you are the good shepherd. You are the good teacher. Oh, Lord, thank you for leading us. Thank you for being the Lord of our life. Thank you that we know that you that began a good work in our life. We see it. Thank you, Lord, for you are the one that is the lifter of our home, our righteousness. Let's begin to pray. Yeah, in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's begin to pray for ourselves in the spirit today. Oh, Lord, I thank you, Lord Jesus. That today, Lord Jesus, I offer myself, I offer my mind. No more will they will you contend with them um, with you, Lord Jesus. No more will you contend with the things in our lives, Lord Jesus. I offer my mind, my heart, my whole life, Lord Jesus, as a sacrifice to you, Lord Jesus, that you will teach us in the way we will go, Lord Jesus. We give you the glory regarding EPR and whatever, um, all the things that is going on, Lord Jesus. Father, we know a lot of us are tired and weary. Father, we pray that this, 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 this week, Lord Jesus, that you show us that you love us in the different areas of our life, Lord Jesus, that you show us that you love us. We pray that this week, Lord Jesus, we will hear you clearly, Lord Jesus. That when we open the Bible, Lord Jesus, we, we, we will plant your word, Lord Jesus. Father, we pray that this prayer that we have said regarding being led by the Spirit, that an understanding will come on each person's heart, Lord Jesus. So the evil one will not steal from it. Father, we pray, Lord Jesus, that understanding will come. And even when the storm comes and uh, the, the, uh, the seeds, there, there will not be any stony hearts, Lord Jesus. There will not be any stony hearts. But each and every one of our hearts will be good ground. Father, I, I pray today for myself and each and every one of my sisters represented here, that each of our hearts will be good grounds, that the seed of your word that you have given to them, you know them more than I do. You, you, we, we bear fruits. You say that your good soil will bear 160 and 30, Lord Jesus. Father, we pray for that, Lord Jesus. Father, we pray for EPER, Lord Jesus, as a group and everything that we are we are planning for our conferences lord jesus that that will bear fruit 30 60 100 father we want a hundred but we will never we decree that we'll never fall into the area of the stony heart oh lord or the wayside heart which does not have root itself that our hearts will be a good ground for you, Lord Jesus. Because we know the contention of the enemy is to steal our hearts away from you, Lord Jesus. That is his game plan. He wants to steal it with business. business. 
He wants to steal it with trouble, with tiredness. Some are even good, you know, that we will not have time to spend time with you, Lord Jesus. Teach us to increase our quantity in our prayer and in hearing you and spending time with you, Lord Jesus. When we are driving, when we are walking, we are listening to your words. We are listening to uh, and praising you, listening to Christian music, planting your word in different ways that we know how to, Lord Jesus. When we are talking to people that we are planting your word, Lord Jesus, oh Lord, oh Lord, in their hearts, in our hearts, then when we're talking about we are planting in other people's hearts, your word, let every word that we plant as we are led by you, we will not be stolen by the evil one. Because you say that it comes to steal, kill, and destroy, Lord Jesus. We we'll pray, Lord Jesus, in this group, Lord Jesus, that each and every one of us be rooted in you. Nothing can pull us away, Lord Jesus, because we look to who we are. We look to who we are, who you said that we are. We do not look to our abilities. We do not look to our skills. We do not look at, to the arms of the flesh. Father, that we look to you as you develop that thing or rather bring out that thing that you have inside of us in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we just give you the glory. We give you the praise. Father, we thank you for EPR. Thank you for taking part in this session. Uh, we thank you for in investing your time in this group. Lord. We just thank everybody for investing your time in this group. If you want to uh, watch us, you can go to YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Thank you so much for being a part of this. May God answer you. May God strengthen you this week. May you hear a word. May you bring forth fruits. Every prayer that you have prayed today, every sweet spot that you want God to answer because he knows exactly what you want. He is the one that put it in your hand. He will answer. Every devourer that is trying to prevent it will rebuke. In the mighty name of Jesus, we decree in this group that we will produce hundredfold results. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. In the mighty name of Jesus. I want to talk also about the um, program that is coming on. Um, we have the Lagos on the 2nd. We know God is with them. We decree that is hundredfold results for each and every one of the sites. Because we say in EPR, we have what we say. We eat from the foot of our mouth, we eat from the foot of our mouth. So we decree that it will be fruitful. And we say that if you want to register for the UK one is already available. We encourage people to invite five people or more. Some of us have more friends. Pull your sisters along. It's ministry. You know, ministry. We also pray for the UK one that you can come along, register, bring people. Come and let us put our hands together. We are sisters. You know, let's encourage and strengthen each other. Um, we also have the uh, American one. I know this is a UK um, uh, prayer meeting, but I know some of us will be willing, we will love to travel to, to join them is available and that is we can i would love to be there three days retreat is awesome you know we will in, I've, I've been there three years ago and i'm looking forward to coming again it was we were drunk in the spirits i've never been so sure i've not experienced being drunk in the spirit after that that means laughing for no reason just having laughter it was so beautiful we just encourage each and every one of us in this group to plug in the ones in uh, Lagos, UK, uh, America, plug in. Let's hold ourselves. Let's, be, be, let's move with the right company. It matters. It matters. It matters. What you hear matters. Who is speaking matters. The word that we're sowing in our heart matters. It is again, if you listen to the wrong words, <laughs> it can kill. <laughs> it kills, it steals, and it destroys. Uh, let's come. Let's come. It's going to be great. 
I know it's going to be great because I know that God has answered each and every one of uh, prayer uh, and thing that we have in the mighty name of Jesus. We, we believe that. Um, we thank God for today. We thank God for the prayer meeting, what we have had. I know it was brief, but I can't wait for the results. I'm, Sean, I, I'm looking forward to the result of this prayer because we, I, we are mighty. We are mighty. When I think of EPR, I think of either soldiers or I think of Roman soldiers with a sword. <laughs> that is the way I, that's the picture in my heart. You know, that is what I see. And today, we thank God that God, we have given our heart to God. We thank God that is, we have given our heart to God in the mighty name of Jesus. Mm. Thank God. Um, Thank you, Pastor Nike. Thank you, Pastor Nike. Um, uh, if you if you got a word today, it would be nice. Hold on to it. We will not have abortion of the word. <laughs> not again in this world. We will not have the devil steal the word of God in this group. We will not have it again. <laughs> oh, for the ones he has told you, hundredfold returns. Hundredfold returns. That's what we are praying for. And hundred, hundredfold we, I know that we have not put limits on God regarding this group. I know that, and I'm excited to be in this group. Oh, you say sorry, not Nike. <laughs> you must be Chichi. <laughs> yeah, I know. Um, I, I know that we have hundreds of uh, results. So I thank everybody for joining in. Please, if you have um, a word that God has given you, is a seed. Don't let the seed, we refuse for any seed to die anymore. And those that the devil stole, we ask for God to return, hundredfold return. And we speak, you know, hundredfold, that's what we want in each and every one of our life. And we celebrate each other as we hold each other's hand. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Have a lovely week, everybody. Have a lovely week. Everybody, remember, see yourself the way Jesus is. See, agree with, agree, agree with the word of God and guard your heart. Don't let the devil steal what is inside. Know who you are in the spirit. Know that God loves you. In everything, he loves you. Remember, he laid down his life for you. No one can do that. He laid down his life for you. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, everybody. We are blessed. We are looking forward to our testimonies in different ways. We give all God the glory. Reach out to any one of us to tell us about what God has done. Because we don't just pray in this group for no reason. We pray and we know that the result is already settled. You know? So we thank God. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. <laughs>